is a watercraft capable of independent operation below the surface of the water. It differs from a submersible which has only limit underwater capability. The term of submarine most commonly refers to the large crew autonomous vessel. However, historically or more casually submarine can also refer to medium size or smaller vessel such as like major submarine, wet subs and ROV. A submarine mainly consists of the following components which are the pressure hose, planes, ballast tanks, engine, tower, navigation system and life support system. The submarine operates using the Archimedes principle by manipulating buoyancy. The buoyancy is controlled by the ballast tank system. A submarine resting on the surface has positive buoyancy, which means it less dense than the water around it and will float. At the time, the ballast tanks are mainly full of air. To submerge the submarine must have a negative buoyancy. Fans of the ballast tanks are open. The seawater coming through the fluid ports forces air out the fence and the submarine begins to sink. The submarine's ballast tanks now fill with seawater is denser than the surrounding water. The exact depth can be controlled by adjusting the water to air ratio in the ballast tank submerge. The submarine can obtain neutral buoyancy that means the weight of submarine equals to the amounts of water it displaces. The submarine will neither rise nor or sink in this state. To make the submarine rise again, compressed air simply blown into the tanks, forcing the seawater out. The submarine gains positivity of buoyancy, becomes less dense than the water and rises. So how does it propelling works? Um, the propellant works is using the nuclear submarine and use the steam turbines and a nuclear reactor to provide drive in their propeller soft. The electric power is also used to operate the equipment. However, the batteries are used to store electric power and get charge from the diesel engine. So next to the dynamics modeling of the submarine. model will be carried out which will produce a stage-based representation of the depth control of the submarine. This mechanical model refers to a paper entitled Submarine Dynamic Modeling by Dr. Peter Ridley and the others. In there are several things that are used to obtain the mechanical model. There are three types of models used to obtain a sustainable mechanical model in this discussion. Among them are the low frequency model, high frequency model and the equation of motion vertical plane so that from this type of model a mathematical model will be obtained low frequency model the submarine dynamics in the water including the control forces and the moments produced by the radar and planes are topically described by a set of six degree of freedom nonlinear differential equation Based on the Kelvin case of hydrodynamical equations, in the past period, very simplified models have been developed and used in the study and control of the motion of a submarine and other water underwater vehicles. The vertical motions of the submarine are represented by a set of the nonlinear state equation referring to the coordinate axis and notation gives. The linear submarine in low frequency model control noted by this equation. In the linear the submarine dynamics can be presented in the matrix from us here. The next is high frequency model. Submarine when operating near the surface, 
is supplanted by sea wave forces and moments, there are different regimes of interaction between a submerged body and a wave path. Broadly, they can be broken into several areas. Initial interaction where the body acts like a particle in the wave path. Wave diffraction, where the body's influence open the wave path in a connect form. Finally, there are flow separation or viscous effects. The relative importance of each of these effects can be determined by examining the relationship of the body size to the wave parameters. These effects can be split mathematically in two kinds of components, first order and second order. The instances force in heavy and moment in which are given the form. The next is equation of motion in a vertical plane. Four variables are concerned the pitch velocity Q, the pitch angle, and the depth position Z. In order to develop the equation of motion in a vertical plane, the forward speed U, W is assumed to be constant while the three and yellow modes were not considered. In this figure, the full nonlinear model of motion for underwater vehicles can be found. By referring to figure, the nonlinear equation of motion in dive bands mode R. Here the equation. And also the matrix formed after the equation have been linearized. Here the parameter the depth control system transfer function for British submarine is here we are the transfer function and if we see as the transfer matrix we know that from the dynamic system transfer function here the matrix <laughs> discussions will be explained about control design. The control design for this submarine control department uses three controls including there are pole placement, minimum order observer, and PID. The following will be discussed one by one about each of these control designs. The first is pole placement. To regain the more stability, we use the pole placement method. We define the poles in the left side of the plane, then we desire the poles as below. Here, here we are, here. Then from the calculating is the Eckermann's formula, we found the gain K if we assume that U equals Kx or U cause mean negative cuts. We count based on the matrix. Then we define the value P, PA, here we are, and then here's the result. And we define the matrix controversy is as the equation. Then the inverse of the matrix is necessary to know the Ki gain. Then we also have the Ki formula. Then here the result. Then from the calculating user account formula, we found the gain K if we assume that U equation equals mean Kx. The result Ka here. Also from the calcul calculating calculation using Kerman's formula, we found the gain K if we assume that U equals Kx. With pole placement method, we got the rise time, settling time, overshoot, undershoot. 
be for the purpose man the graphic is in the picture and here the characteristic of the purpose man's response after using purpose man method and then the next control design is minimum order observer minimum order observer uh, the first we want to add the observer based on minimum order here the equation and then we input the variable below and this is the result then we count the k again based on the equation this equation after that here the result next with the definition of k we go we got here the equation next we define the first we define the a after that we second we define g then we got the equation the full of equation is in the paper next we define v then we got equation so finally we got this equation A and here are the results from the minimum order after we got the ke gain for the minimum requirements of observer point that to be specific is related to the desired pulse at the first time here are the ke and also we got the first of an estimation as the state page here the figure of minimum order observer response and with this specification of minimum order we got rise time settling time overshoots and unreshoots and the last control design is PID estimated before we want to design a proportional integral and derivative PID in order to look for controlling the pitch angle and a proportional for controlling the depth width. according to the control law presented above the inner loop control law as a follow here the equation where e theta error in pitch theta desired pitch and theta is actual pitch kappa is proportional gain and td is derivative time constant because of the difference between the vehicle stern angle and pitch angle is applied positive stern angle create negative circuit and around double y axis that force the vehicle diving down for negative pitch rate the control law for outer loop denoted as follow the equation uh, from adding here the response of alpha pid from the measurement with pid we got the result uh, alpha pid response and then beta pid response the last gamma pid response the sign off from context of parameters that used to know the characteristic of the response here the table here the number of characteristic PID and here the table uh, PID control using empirical method we got this table <music> Your first circuit, namely the first is minimum order.
and the second is full placement and PID. The third is default dynamic modeling. The four is pole placement. Marine were designed and tested in fight. The PID with spoke placement feedback has proved useful in the development of the control systems for the submarine beds on control system design profile. To construct the control system, a 6 dove general mathematical model of underwater vehicles was derived, which is powerful enough to apply it to different kinds of underwater vehicles according to its own fiscal properties. Based on the general mathematical model, a simulation platform was established to test motion characteristics, stability, and controllability of the vehicle. The control system was designed based on the submarine's mathematical model. After that, we test the control system performance by dive, climb, and circulation orders. The research show that the performance of controllers meets that requirements of performance and stability in both the vertical and horizontal planes.